the world is failing the developing countries because if the rate at which you are borrowing from the international market is exorbitant, that means you're going to be saddled with debt. According to the latest IMF numbers, over 20 African countries, their ratio of GDP to debt is unsustainable. So that means they either have to restructure their debt or take IMF restructuring program, which essentially means cutting um, you know, primary public, public uh, uh, delivery of services, that is water, education, and health. That happened in 1990s, and we know how that damaged most of the country, most of the African countries. Climate change, African countries did not contribute disproportionately compared to Western countries. They are not getting loss and damage that was agreed, uh, the fund that was agreed in Egypt last year, and I don't think any change will come out of it um, in, uh, in, in, in United Arab Emirates in November, end of November, December. You see what is happening in Libya because of climate change. So the reality is the global north and the world has failed African countries. Although I must add that some of the leaders in the African countries have not helped their cause either. They need to get into the business of having prudent public finance management system, roots out corruption or at the very minimum, reduce its impact. Because what is going to happen is that we are headed for a serious combination of climate change and debt crisis in the next few, in the next couple of years on the African continent. And if those two things combine, you're going to see some of the gains that were made in the 2000s, all of them nearly erased.